Hey guys, Eric here with another quick video using Elementor. Today we're going to talk about how to use a heading and put it in different places depending on where you want to keep that heading with a background image. So right now we've got the background image and on the inside you can see here where the position is, center, center. We've got the size as a cover. Now here, let's say for instance I want to put the heading. Let's scroll in there. And just for simplicity, we're just going to put dog school. And let's go to style. Let's change the color to white. And if we look at here, the different positions, the alignment, yes, we could go ahead and put it in the middle here. We can put it on the right. But I want you to notice, too, that even if I wanted to put this over a little bit and I decided to add some spacing here in the title, it doesn't do anything, right? So here's what we're going to do, though. We want to bring this, my goal is to have it up here. So in order to do that, we've got, let's go ahead and click the Edit Selection, and Edit Section, and we're going to go to Layout. Inside of Layout, you'll notice down below where it says Column Position. This is your column, right? Column Position is in the middle right now. Let's make it towards the top. Now we've got the top. Maybe you want it towards the bottom. Okay, so now we've got different placement. Let's keep it at the top. But now let's say, for instance, you want it more this towards the middle area. So let's take a look at it again. If I hit the... You can tell if I just try to move it over here, spacing it out, nothing happens, right? And this is where we're going to work with a little bit of padding and margin and I'll show you how that works too but first let's head to the right where you can see the edit heading part and we're going to click on advance and in advance we're heading to positioning and in positioning we're going to head to inline auto now you see what just happened there it just is contained in here only Remember, block elements like H1 and H2, they take up 100% of the screen. But it's important to note that because you couldn't create another H1 element because there is no space, so hence the inline element option in positioning. Now, we can go ahead and mess with, in the edit selection, the padding or the margin. Now, this here, if I click on this, I can control these individually. Otherwise, it's all together. So let's say, for instance, the padding. If I click on that, whatever I do here, it's moving everything. And we don't want that right now. I just want to show you as a demonstration how to work things alone. So let's click here on the heading. And in advance, let's go ahead and push the dog school away from here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the left to push it away from here. And you can see I can push it however far I want. And that shows you real quickly here how you can manipulate the margin.